Family is grieving the loss of a 51 year old grandmother in Bush after she died early New Year's Day in a house fire. Well, the state fire marshal's office is still investigating what may have caused it. Erica Ferrando has this story. Holes in Stacy Glass's home show where her family tried to help her escape from flames. The heat was intense, uh, flames and smoke. They had cut a small hole in the side. Part of my people went to extinguish the flames, the other part went and cut a bigger hole so they could get in and look for the uh, victim. They were not successful. St. Tammany Fire District 9 Chief Scott Brewer says they received the 911 call of a fire after midnight Sunday, just minutes into the new year. A total of 25 firefighters, including six volunteer firefighters, responded. We were on scene within six minutes, which is a little bit longer response time than normal because of the fog. And the fog is also blamed for no one seeing the fire sooner. The people across the driveway from them were cleaning up and heard noises but couldn't see anything. And when they finally went to investigate, they realized what was going on. And then that's when they called us. Firefighters found this home engulfed and tried to rescue Glass from inside, but it was too late. A mobile home does go up quick. Glass's family tells us she was a grandmother of six. Apparently she'd had a gathering there for at least one grandchild who was picked up shortly before this happened, thank goodness. Her family also shared she was always there for everyone and was well known in the Bush community. Of course, it's devastating. I mean, the family is, uh, is tight knit, kind of a family compound back there. They're all gathered close together. I understand she was a great grandma and she took care of those kids immensely, loved them. The fire marshal's office says the fire began in the living room while glass was found in the bathroom. Deputies are investigating whether an electrical malfunction could be to blame. We do not believe it was fireworks related. Her family tells us they're not sure when they'll be able to hold a funeral. The family is not prepared for this financially, so they are asking for help if that is possible. They're hoping to raise at least $5,000 through this GoFundMe account to say their proper goodbyes. In Bush, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. And the fire marshal's office says they couldn't find a working smoke alarm in that home. Now, their operation, Save a Life, partners with local fire departments to help install smoke alarms for you for free. So call your local fire department to request one.